Hey everyone, um, so today I'm going to show you how to make this Cheerio garland. Um, my hamster peanut adores Cheerios and I wanted like a different way to feed them to it instead of like putting them in a bowl or hand feeding them. So I came up with this idea and basically it's just a piece of string and I've hooked the Cheerios on there and just put, popped it on the side of his cage. Um, and this is a good idea if you haven't got a kebab, kebab either, um, you can do this instead. And basically it means that instead of just like popping the Cheerios straight into his pouches and eating them, he'll have to actually chew the Cheerio off. So it's a bit more of like enrichment for him. So I'll show you now how you make it. So you will only need three things to make this. Um, you need a pair of scissors to cut the string, um, some Cheerios. I think you can get these in the USA as well. Um, I'm not sure about anywhere else, but you can definitely get them in the UK. Um, and then just some string. And you want to make sure that the string is natural and it doesn't have any like wax on there or plastic coating. So if he does chew it, then it will be safe for him. So those are the three things that you need. So the first thing you want to do is measure out about 30 centimetres of your rope and just cut the end of it with a pair of scissors like that. My scissors are a bit naff, so. <laughs> um, so there's about 30 centimetres. You want to just make a loop in the end, just like that, so the Cheerios don't fall off the one end. And then get your Cheerios and start hooking them onto the string. And you only want to put a few on there, not too many. Whoops, and I've broken that one. Um, so I only put about four on at a time. Just hook that onto there until you get to the knot and then you just want to knot that end bit again. And you just want to continue doing this till you've got four Cheerios on your string. Okay so I've put four Cheerios on the piece of string and as you can see I've left about an inch gap between each of the knots just so that they can move around a bit and it makes the garland a bit longer. Because if you put them too close together, then it'll only be really short. Um, so I've just got my two end bits. Um, if you have like a bin cage or um, a tank where it doesn't have any wire um, grids to hook it onto, um, you can just cut the ends and then just put it in like that for them to eat. Um, but if you do have the wire cage, then you can just knot it onto the side. And that's how you make the Cheerio garland. Oh my.